Okay, first of all, let me mention that um, I'm relatively new to Google Classroom. Actually, that's a bit of a fib. Um, I used Google Classroom a lot when it first came out, and in all honesty, I haven't touched it really since. So it's been a couple of years, because when I was playing with it, um, it was still a, very much in a beta edition. Um, so there's a lot of things that have changed with it since I started using it, and I understand that at least if you're teaching in the um, Vacaville system, I'm not sure about the Fairfield system, I believe Google Classroom is a, a new tool for you guys as well. Uh, so we'll figure this out a little bit together. Um, I'm not sure if this is the view that you see when you go in, uh, but it's the view that I see, so I'm going to use this as a way. Um, so for me, when I log in, the default is just stream. And in all honesty, what that will do is it will give me this litany of things, which literally includes everything that I've posted to the class thus far. Um, what I've tried to do is over here, you'll see I've listed off topics, and I've tried to organize the class in that respect. So, uh, for example, all of the administrative things are up here. Now, these the stream here is organized. I've actually taken great care to have it in the order that I want it presented to you guys. So, for example, the first thing I want under the administrative thing is for you guys to see the instructor introduction video. Then there's a copy of the syllabus as well as the syllabus presentation video. And eventually, uh, the first item that you'll see here is this uh, how to video that I'm creating right now. So that'll be the first item that'll be up right here somewhere. Uh, then there's a section on APA. Uh, there may end up being a section on assignments here. I haven't added in the assignments, so there may be one right here that says assignments, although I'm not sure where they'll appear once I put them in there. Um, so here's a list of all of the APA resources, again, in the order that I want them to be presented to you. Here are some samples of projects and of um, theses. So you'll see that, um, you know, here's just a, a little PDF of the difference between the two. Here's a way of accessing the ones that are actually up on the FileMaker um, server that um, Dr. Redman and the Graduate School of Education maintain. And then I've pulled in a couple of specific ones, both theses and projects that Dr. Redman had recommended to me from uh, previous years that she's been working through that she thought were quite typical, um, quite you know good illustrations, I should say. Um, and then you'll see I've got things organized by session. So session one is our first class, so you'll note I put in the two readings that we've got for that week. Um, so that way you can access them through here, as well as here some other items that I've had. And one of the things you'll note is I've put a lot of videos in there, and you'll see like things like ADL 689 um, or 690, or there might be some that are IT something or EDIT something. Those are things from previous times I've taught classes similar to this. Um, so those are videos of essentially either lectures that I recorded at the time or in some cases because I was teaching in Connecticut or Detroit um, they were actually created because we had a snow day um, when we were supposed to have class so the video that I created for that particular class uh, came through that um, but what you'll see is um, each of these are organized sort of in the order in which I would like you to review them as you're going through. And what I will do, with the exception obviously of the first class, uh, where I'm, you know, we're going to read Clark, Boot, and Beal. We're going to talk a little bit, particularly about Boot and Beal. And then we're also going to do a session that looks at the difference between summarizing and critiquing the literature. Um, so you'll see there's a handout there for that, and I'll have copies of that handout. Um, actually, I'll probably project them electronically in that first class. Um, so that'll be what we do the first class. Now, in that first class, in addition to several other things, I will also highlight what we will be doing in class two. So I will go over how I want you to use this material here between now and when we actually get to that point in time. Uh, so that's what I'll do. Each class I'll review what's coming up in the next one so that you know what to do. Um, 
Now you'll note that some of these have a lot of items in it, some of them have none at this stage. A lot of that is because some of the materials are things I've used from previous semesters teaching a similar course to this. Um, other times they're uh, materials that I'll be creating specifically for you guys as we go through the course. So those I will be inputting as we create them, uh, but the rest of them are ones that I think are useful to you at this point, even though they were created for a different group. So that's pretty much how to use um, basically the um, Google Classroom. Uh, you'll note there's also an About tab. I don't know if that's what you get when you come in, uh, but there is a Google Drive for this particular class, and when you go there, uh, these are the items you get, and essentially they're just files that I've linked into the main classroom. Uh, so you'll see I've tried to organize them in the same way uh, so that you know exactly where to find them. Um, so if something is in, uh, for example, session... Uh, three over here in the Google Classroom. Here in the Google Drive, you should also find it in session three. So, um, you know, and there's also content, and then the samples are here. So it's sort of organized in what I think is a uh, predictable fashion. And again, I'm not sure if you get that. Um, I don't know how the calendar views for you guys, although I will begin adding stuff in there uh, once I figure out exactly how it uh, operates for you. Um, so I'll be talking with Dr. Redmond exactly how that uh, sort of plays out um, because I noticed that when I've put it, uh, when I've tried to add entries thus far, it actually asks me for a Google Hangout link uh, which um, or a Zoom link or something. So I may just do that because we obviously won't be streaming when we're in the classroom. Um, it'll only be for that second class that um, we're going to be using Zoom for. So um, all of those materials I'll continue to update as we go through uh, the course and uh, they'll be sort of organized as best I can using this topic function over here. So that's really where you should focus upon is this topic area over here uh, because otherwise, like I say, the general stream is just an endless list of everything that I've uploaded in the order that I've uploaded them and I don't think that's quite as useful for you. Uh, so that's a quick overview of Google Classroom. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, playing with it a little bit more and um, you know seeing all the things that it can do and hopefully in addition to um, you know the things you're going to take away from an educational research perspective over the next two semesters will also um, take away some things about using Google Classroom as well. Uh, so looking forward to seeing you all in a couple of weeks.